Oh, hello, Facebook community. Hello, Mount Gilead family. Um, hello, anybody else who might find this uh, sometime later. My name is Kent Phillips, and I am the Connections Minister here at Mount Gilead. And it is a, a privilege, as always, to join with you online and to dive into God's Word. Um, it's been a good season with uh, online content here at the church over the last several weeks. What Jeff has been doing in the morning with his 5.30 prayer times uh, have been wonderful. Mike Bridgewater has added a, a parable devotion that he's beginning to work through all the parables of Jesus on Fridays. And then we're going to continue to strive to do these Tuesday and Thursday online devotionals as well. And the point of all of this is just continue to add opportunities to dive into God's Word together, uh, to, to connect in some way, even though it's online with one another throughout the week, and to strive to grow in our relationship with God uh, and others. So today, uh, I want to continue in this theme of prayer that we have been in as a church over the past several weeks, um, and I want to look at one aspect of prayer, uh, and that is the concept of thanksgiving, of filling our prayers with thanksgiving, meaning offering uh, gratefulness and rejoicing in what God has done and what he is doing in our lives. When we have moments of thanksgiving in our prayer, it's an opportunity to pause to, to take a break maybe from petition or even intercession where we are asking God uh, for things for others or for ourselves, um, but to really reflect on the goodness of God in our lives. You know, um, in the book of Colossians in 4.2, it says this, continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. So there's this aspect of gratitude and thanksgiving that should continually be present in our prayers. And, and this attitude of thanksgiving does so many things for us. Um, sometimes when we are feeling overwhelmed with life or feeling like uh, maybe God is silent or we're not seeing where God is moving in our midst and in our communities, pausing and looking around and reflecting on the good things that we have in God is a way to remind us that God is always present. He is always working and he is always with us. Um, you know, there are many great resources uh, on prayer. One I, I would recommend is, is this simple book. It's called The Hour That Changes the World by Dick Eastman, and, and it highlights all of the different aspects of prayer, um, you know, from praise, praising God for who he is, waiting in silence to hear God speak to us, confession, where we come to God in prayer and um, we confess for our need for him, the sin that is still in our life that we are working to surrender to him. Um, scripture praying when we read scripture as a prayer to God. I'm actually going to do a little of that when I read Psalm 100 to you here in just a moment. Um, when we are watching, listening again uh, for God, intercession, praying for others, petition, praying for ourselves, and then thanksgiving. Um, there's a great resource that dives deep into all those things. You know, sometimes um, we can get stuck in a rut where our prayers are only one way. Maybe it's only uh, petition or intercession. And so I want to encourage you to expand uh, to, thanks, to thanksgiving in your prayers. So what I want to do now is just turn to a psalm uh, of thanksgiving. It's Psalm 100, and you will recognize some of the words. They have been written into worship songs, but I want to read this to you today. And, and really challenge you to um, maybe take time and, and to meditate on some things you are thankful for uh, that God has done or is doing in your life. And, and maybe you can even write them down. Maybe you can write down your own psalm of thanksgiving at some point today. Um, but let's listen to the word of the Lord. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness 
to all generations. I love uh, that it says in verse 3, it is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. You know, it's such an important thing to be reminded um, above everything else that we are God's, that, that we belong to him, that we are his chosen daughters and sons, um, that we are heirs to his kingdom of goodness and righteousness uh, here on earth and in the future. Um, you know, I, I think that's why when the disciples ask Jesus, teach us how to pray, when they sincerely say, how are we to pray? He begins by uh, reminding them who they are. Uh, well, one, reminding them who God is. It says, Jesus said, when you pray, pray like this in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, our Father. So he is reminding uh, them, the disciples, and us today that First and foremost, when we play, remind ourselves that we are his children. Um, and there's a thankfulness that comes out of that, that God views us in such a way that he loves us so deeply and so with such um, endearing love uh, that he calls us uh, children and we are to call him father. And then we're connected. Our, I love that, it says our father, not just not God, not just my father, but we're all connected in that. So uh, today, when you have time to pray, I would encourage you to offer a prayer of thanksgiving. We have so much to be thankful for. So many of us are sleeping in warm houses. We have food to eat. We have community around us. Um, so many of us have health. I know that there's a lot that we could be, that we probably are going through and we're dealing with a lot, but there is so much goodness in our lives as well. So uh, I pray that you would be thankful for what God has done and is doing in your life. May God bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you and give you peace. Have a great day, everyone.